everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for watching my video in this video i will be doing my first ever on my channel acrylic nail set and i will be doing it in the style of what was appropriate in school i normally like the really thick look i've said that in my videos before or wrote it i'm not sure but um that's my preference but i will be doing it in the way that i was taught in school and this also is starting with a local nail supply um, haul and i picked up five more of these chisel acrylics i love this acrylic it's like butter i've tried young nails valentino mia secret um, i forgot there's another one i tried two more um if i remember i'll put it on the screen if not i'm sorry but as of right now chisel is my favorite this is a uh, acetone um, bowl that i'll be using and then the other one i eat for alcohol so that i can have alcohol um quick to grab instead of in my bottom cabinet on my desk i grabbed another one of these i don't know why i might need it so i now have three in my studio to hold the polish and then i got some embellishment some rhinestones i'm just trying to build up my like i said before little by little my nail studio supplies because it, it looks empty <laughs> and i don't want it to be packed but i just need it i want to have anything i don't want to have to go to the store when someone needs something i i want to have it i like to be prepared stay ready you ain't got to get ready like we say me and my sister say but anyway i'm starting this nail set off using a 12 brush this was a new brush i got from the nail supply store i like the number 12 that's what i was using in school the most but i'm very interested to learn how to use a 20 brush or 18 brush so the first two nails are a uh, size 12 brush and then the next nail or two is a 16 and then the last two or the last one is a size 20 brush i forgot to show it as i because i was so focused on what i was doing i i forgot i was recording so many times but right now i am prepping the nails i'm getting the tip flat as possible because there's a lump if you don't do that like that the hard way uh, when it settles so i'm trying to get the tip to blend with the natural quote unquote natural nail as much as possible this is the fake hand and you will be seeing her a lot um i'm more comfortable recording with the fake hand as opposed to recording long form content with clients um, i normally would do it like short form content reels or tiktoks but for youtube it's more like experimenting practicing showing my growth it's not so much about client i don't know i like nails for the art i, I don't i don't know if y'all realize that i'm just trying to develop my style at this point and i'm trying everything and then i'll focus on you know i know press ons but you know i, I want to do other stuff too so yeah if you are in the palm beach county area and you want to book me go ahead and book me y'all saw my studio in the, in the couple videos ago i'll link it right here so you can see it but um yeah come check me out I've come to realize that I like a drier bead, not dry, but closer to dry than wet. I do not like the wet beads. It goes everywhere. I get a little anxiety at trying to catch it all, feeling like it's Pokemon or something. I, I don't know. It's stressful. I like it to feel more like poly gel. So I'm just trying different techniques. So just bear with me as I... I get my groove with the acrylic and I'm not gonna get it in this set. It hasn't even been a month that I have been doing acrylic. So this is just me playing around and figuring it figuring out my style basically.